Charlie Botnick here for the Pita Pit Pre Game. Here with head coach Sean Nelson. Now, coach, you guys are in the second round of the RMAC tournament, playing Fort Lewis. Really, what are you expecting from that game? I think it'll be a completely different game than the first time we played them. It seems like forever ago since we played them, and we got to play them once because they were in the other division. Um, you know, they uh, they did a great job at Mines. They they really ran their stuff. They were able to spread the floor, get to the foul line. They hit a bunch of threes. I, I thought they played exceptionally well. So we have to be ready. We have to play a lot better than we did down there, and we have to play a lot better than we did on Tuesday night. And talking about Tuesday night, you guys played Regis. It was a very close one, really went down to the wire. What did you really take away from that win? Well, we needed a win um, against Regis. They had beat us twice, and uh, our last game at Regis was pretty much exactly the same way as the, uh, the playoff game. And we just had to gut it up and, and just find a way to win. I mean, things weren't really going our way. It was a physical game, both ways. It was a physical game. And uh, we just, you know, there's some teams you match up well against and some teams you don't. And unfortunately for us this year, we just don't match up well with Regis. And, and um, so that was a really tough draw for us in the first round. But we got through it. And Brittany Hernandez had 24 points in that game. She did win RMAC uh, Player of the Year and RMAC Defensive Player of the Year. Um, how big is that really for her? Well, I think it's big for her. Um, I think it's big for our team too. You know, we, we feed off Brittany, um, good and bad, you know, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I mean, it's big when you when you have that and she's only a junior and we're lucky to, to be able to have her back. But, you know, everything that we do is, you know, that we piece together, you know, our shooters and our point guards and our other post players, it's all built around, you know, um, her, her having, you know, success. And she doesn't have to have 30 points to do that. She can have nine points and we can still do that kind of stuff. But that's how we're built. And, um, you know, we're just excited to be here and excited to, um, you know, that our season's not done. And with Fort Lewis mainly, you know, they have a lot of uh, great guards, a lot of attacking guards. What do you really plan to stop on or stop them? Well, it, it is tough because they do a good job of spreading the floor. Uh, the ironic thing, though, is the stuff that they run is kind of a mixture of what Metro runs and what Regis runs. And so those were our last two games. And so as far as preparation goes, like we feel like we have a decent game plan. Now going out there and doing that is a completely different thing. But um, yeah, I, they just want to spread the floor, get to the basket, make somebody help too long, hit a three, go to the offensive rebounds like crazy. They like to press. Um, we're the two highest uh, scoring teams in the conference. I think we're just a little over 74 and they're 72. So um, I would suspect it would be a high scoring game. And coach, coming down to the wire, you know, looking towards maybe the NCAA tournament and, you know, the RMAC championship, are you still taking one game at a time? Oh, you got to take one game at a time. There's too much at stake right now to get looking ahead and, and playing all these different scenarios in your head because none of them ever come true. Uh, you know, I, I thought the top eight teams were in the tournament this year. Um, I thought anyone could get upset that first night, and there was a ton of upsets the first night. But you just, you just can't take things for granted. If we come out tomorrow night and think that it's going to be easy because we beat them before and even though we beat them before the score doesn't reflect how close the game was and so um yeah i mean we one game at a time i mean the only thing we care about is regis that's the only reason we had to drive our own cars down here today because our bus never showed up but we're here and last question you know did have to take your own cars but you know csu pueblo pretty close how nice is it to have you know not home court advantage but you know just right around right around uccs well, it's good. I mean, travel and rest and, you know, save the legs, all that stuff this time of year is really, really, really big. So to not have to get on a seven hour bus trip and go somewhere um, for your conference tournament is, is really big. And, uh, you know, we're going to stay down here and we're, we're going to enjoy the experience. I mean, it's not, you know, this might be the only time you get to go and be in the, the top four of your league and play for a conference championship. So you, you never know. You just can't take things for granted. But we're, um, we're excited to be here for sure. There you have it, head coach Sean Nelson for the Pita Pit pregame. Coach, good luck. Thanks.